question number 63 let us first discuss question number 63 and then we will discuss question number 65 so i have two questions mathematical questions from the paper right now so the first question is basically from econometrics here that is question number 63 here you are given uh, a linear regression model yi is equals to beta naught plus beta 1 xi plus di and the RSS, right, residual sum of square and TSS is 44 and 80 respectively. So, let us quickly write down the given information. So, first of all, let me write down the model that is yi is equals to beta naught plus beta 1 xi plus ei. So, this is our dependent variable. This is our independent variable. Here, what else is given? We are given RSS, that is the residual sum of square is 44 and total sum of square is given as 80. What we have to find is, find out the value of coefficient of determination. We know R square is the coefficient of determination. And what is the meaning? R square basically explains how much the independent variable is actually able to explain the dependent variable, right? Or how, uh, what is the percentage that is uh, being explained, you know, the variation in yi explained by xi, that is r square. Now, let us use the formula, r square is equal to 1 minus rss by tss. So, that is 1 minus rss is 44 by 80. Now, 44 by 80 is 11 by 20. So, that is... Um, 2 tens are 20, 2 fives are 10, 2 fives are 10. That is 1 minus 0 0.55. So that is uh, 5, 4, 0 0.45. So that means R <coughs> So that means we have calculated R square is equals to 0 0.45 or 45%. So, what is the meaning here? If the meaning is 45% of variation in Y is explained by X in this model. So, that is our answer. Now, let's move on to the next question. So, this is a question from Monopoly. So, here you are given a demand function. Let us write down the demand function. Q is equals to 100, minor, 100 by P minus 1. So, P minus 1 is equals to 100 by Q. So, P is equals to 100 by Q plus 1. Now, Q is the quantity demanded and P is the price per unit of good and P is always greater than 1. Of course, this has to be greater than 1, otherwise this will be not determined, right, undetermined. Now, the average variable cost of the monopolist is 4 by root Q. So, let us write down the next information given, ABC is equals to 4 by root Q. So, from here we can find out TVC. TVC is equals to ABC into Q. So, that is 4 by root Q into Q. That is, TVC is equals to 4 of root Q. So, total cost is equal to total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Now, total variable cost is 4 of root Q plus total fixed cost is 10, right? Fixed cost is 10. So, this is my total cost function. So, what we have to find out is profit maximizing price. So, for that first we have to find out the profit maximizing condition. So, we need first total revenue and total cost. So, we have total cost. So, from here, marginal cost is equal to, obviously, T, DTC by DQ is equal to 4 Q. This is half plus 1 by half. It's equal to 8 Q to the power 3 by 2. Sorry, this is minus 1. That is, uh, 
1 by 2 q to the power minus 1 by 2 so I can say this is 2 2 gets cancelled so 2 by root q basically right so mc is equals to 2 by root q now here uh, first find out tr t into q so tr is equals to 100 by q plus 1 into q that is tr is equals to 100 q by q plus q so that is 100 plus q So if tr is equals to 100 plus q, therefore mr is constant here, dtr by dq is equals to 1. Okay. Now profit maximizing condition, mr is equals to mc. See here mc is decreasing because this is 2 by root q and mr here is constant so for a decreasing mc there is constant uh, mr okay so 1 is equals to 2 by root q by simple uh, solving the equation we can find the uh, value of q to be 4 so if q is equals to 4 then p is equals to 100 by q minus 1 um, sorry plus 1 so that is p is equals to 100 by 4 plus 1 is equals to 25 plus 1, so P is equal to 26. This should be the answer. So this should be the answer according to our uh, pattern of solving these type of questions.